That's the Kodiak Skoda's biggest SUV in India and right behind me is the Pushak, Skoda's most successful SUV in India so far. But what the company is bringing now is its most mass market SUV, a subcompact SUV in fact that will be here in a year's time. Skoda has just announced that it's planning to bring a subcompact SUV, a rival to the Tata Nexon, Hyundai Venue, Kia Sonnet and the likes and the company is already closer to production than we can imagine. What you should know about this new subcompact SUV? Let us give you all the details. Now, Skoda has shared some essential details about its upcoming subcompact SUV. Not a lot, but the essentials for sure. Number one, it will be entirely developed in India. It's been designed here and will be made at Skoda's facility in India as well. The Skoda is upgrading its facility to about 30% to expand production for the new model that will be a volumes model for the company. It will be based on the MQB A0 IN platform that also underpins the Kushak and Slavia. But that's great because those are proven products as far as safety is concerned and you can expect higher safety ratings from the subcompact SUV as well. Beyond that, we also expect to see the 1-litre turbo TSI engine on the sub-4-metre SUV. It should compare to a 6-speed manual and a 6-speed torque converter as we've seen on the other models. And that should give it higher economies of scale as far as part sharing goes which Skoda says will be a big part of the entire uh, sub 4 meter model. Because cost competitiveness, that's something Skoda has been really talking about today and that should make it a price conscious model as far as uh, a sub 4 meter model goes. Now the subcompact SUV segment is extremely competitive. You have models like the Tata Nexon, Hyundai Venue, Kia Sonnet, Mahindra XUV300, the Maruti Suzuki Brezza and many more. And that just tells you the kind of volume the segment promises. Now, Skoda says that it's targeting tier 3 and tier 4 markets and will also expand its network to reflect the same because it really wants to get into the volume game. In fact, the company is uh, aiming for a 5% market share in the Indian auto sector and a lot of it depends on how this model does. So, from all those standpoints, the subcompact SUV from Skoda is going to be an extremely important one. Now, Skoda hasn't given the name of its subcompact SUV yet, but it has given a few suggestions that include the Kailak, Karik, Kaimak, Kairok, and Quick. If you like any of these, make sure to write to Skoda and let them know. Or if you have your own suggestions, they are very open to that as well. It's supposed to be a made in India, designed in India SUV for the Indian customer with a strong potential for exports as well. We will be seeing it sometime next year, and we can't wait to see it in showrooms alongside possibly a VW alternative as well. What do you think about the new subcompact SUV? Will you be waiting for one? Let us know in the comment section below. And for all automotive updates, make sure to follow HG Auto. My name is Samir Contractor and thank you so much for watching.